So I got some tools to take this apart. Uh, this didn't come right off by hand, but it did come off pretty easy with this. And uh, this is an inch and seven eighths socket. Uh, you probably use a inch and fifteen sixteenths or two inch. Two inch is a little sloppy and inch and seven eighths a little tight. Sure, it's metric. Uh, I don't know what else is going on up here. Gonna have to probably get some kind of little ladder, I guess. Find out. And then the uh, this should come right off of here. And when that comes off, this sh should come out. I don't know if there's another nut underneath the group of pulleys. So we have to find that out. And I don't think it's going to be a big issue. But of course, I've never been here before. Lightly. Lightly get that down so we can somehow pull those off. And of course, we don't want to do any damage, right? Get the pullers back out. put this puller set together on a, bef before I start taping. Well, it took a minute to get the puller set up, but what I did is I used the biggest jaw set I had and went all the way to the bottom. And uh, the center post was bigger than the, the beveled end of the puller. So this is a piece of uh, HDME that I use to make stuff on the lathe. It already had a nice center point in, so let's see what happens. Let's see if we make up new swear words or do we rejoice in the fact that this pulley set came right off. I hope it comes off. It's there we go. Look at that. Let's see what happened there. Oh, ta da! And that is tapered fit. So all we have to do is make sure that that's clean going back together. And we are in business. It looks to me like there's a whole bunch of belt residue on top here. I think I'm going to need to get a ladder to work on this top section. I'm going to show you what it looks like anyway. But boy does that move sweet. That's what the top section looks like. And according to the manual they call it a, a roller bearing in there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to lock I'm going to lock this spindle lock, and I'm going to then take off this stuff, the retaining ring and, and the screws, and we're going to find out what's underneath there. Uh, I believe that that should be a 
probably a straight shaft with some kind of bearing on it underneath there. But uh, that's going to be our next move. Uh, I don't, I'm going to maybe try to get this set up so I can get a picture of me doing it on the top. But uh, we'll get back to you. So I was able to set it up so you can see what's going on here. And uh, everything so far on this has been very loose. Uh, I'm very surprised with what this all looks like here. See, that's just a, a roller bearing in there. So how do we get it out? Huh? How do we get it out of there? I think we're going to change pace here because I think that spindle shaft is a little different than I thought. So, you want to see the ultimate in safety here. Look at that. All that is is a switch wired right in rub it up against everything so I think we're going to be changing that uh, <laughs> isn't that sweet <laughs> I don't know why it tingles every time I touch it it's kind of weird though it's kind of fun my hair stands on end every time I play with my machine I don't understand why Oh my. See that? There. See those big lock nuts there? That explains a bunch. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get this out. Uh, boy, oh boy. I don't know what to do about the uh, wires. I want to put one of the safety switches on there. The paddle type switches instead of this little... Home, Home Depot switch that they put in, I guess. But that's not a big deal right now. I think I'm more worried about getting it all apart. Uh, a couple lock nuts in there, and that uh, entire shaft should come out. So uh, it looks to me like that top bearing is all in itself one piece, and then that shaft which is the splined shaft you see here goes through this housing and this housing is pressed into here with this bearing I don't know if it's pressed in it very well may come out fairly simple but this part of this shaft does not go completely through uh, which is uh, kind of nice in my mind so let's move on to the next step uh, let me get that switch out of there and then we will get back to it <laughs> 